Bovine growth hormone, also known as bovine somatotropin or BST, has completely renovated the dairy industry for the better. BST has not only been able to maintain the milk production in late lactation of cattle, but also increase it. Besides the increase of milk per cow, it can also lower the carbon footprint on the earth left by cattle. However, there are many people who are against the use of BST in cattle in fear of the side effects that can pass to themselves from the milk and meat products. However, though, many people do not understand how BST is utilized within the body of the cow, and that has no direct effect in, on the mammary gland whatsoever. Bovine sabatitrobin was approved by the FDA in November of 1993 for the use of increase of overall milk yield in dairy cattle. Somatotropin is a naturally occurring protein produced within the brain by the pituitary gland. In calves, BST plays a major role in the growth and development, whereas in lactating cows, it serves to mobilize body fat to use it for energy and divert feed energy more towards the production of milk rather than synthesis of new tissues. When BST is injected or released from the brain, it is directed to the liver since that is where the receptors for the BST are. Within the liver, many things occur to increase the overall yield of milk. From the liver, IGF-1, or insulin growth-like factor, which is a protein that stimulates growth and maintenance of skeletal muscles, is released. Within the mammary gland, the IGF-1 affects the secretory cells through regeneration of the cells, and in the long run, it prolongs the life of the secretory cells. Besides releasing IGF-1 to increase milk yield, BST can also help improve the utilization of glucose through an increase in the raw material intake, as well as an increase in the efficiency of the metabolic pathways. Through this, there is a direct increase in the glucose available to the mammary gland. With more glucose available to the mammary gland, there is an increase in the amount of pr milk production because of the direct relationship between the amount of glucose and milk produced. Even though BST has no direct effect on the mammary gland, Many people still fear BST and IGF-1 getting into the milk supply. But luckily, there are not enough similarities between the human and bovine growth hormone for the bovine growth hormone to be functional within the human body. Also, both BST and IGF-1 are digestible in the human body. It is predicted that in 50 years from now, the world's need for food will increase by 100%. 70 of which will have to originate from a more efficient agriculture industry. With the use of BST, there is an overall increase of 8.4 pounds per day from every cow. With an overall increase, this would not only help meet the needs of a growing worldwide population, but it can also help lower the carbon footprint left on the earth by cattle. If BST were used in 15% of the dairy cattle in the United States, it would be equivalent to removing 390,000 cars off of the road each year. For 21 years now, BST has been increasing milk yields across the United States without affecting the content of the milk or having any adverse side effects on the human health. With the use of BST over the next 50 years, people all over the world will become more dependent on more efficient ways to produce food, such as the use of GMOs. With the help of BST, there will be an increase in overall milk production without the increase in cattle. Knowledge is the most valuable thing a person can possess. So rather than assuming things, more people should learn about an important topic such as BST.